So the idea is we're applying for uh, the ARPA grant, and this is once again the contact through Jesse. Jesse, we know through one of our collaborators, and we're starting the apprenticeship program. It's part of our greater work um, with open source ecology. Have you taken a look at my TED talk by any chance? Yes. Yeah, yes. excellent. I, I did. Um, and that's the kind of work we do. So we're starting an apprenticeship to build the housing. We also build the machines. We do design work. We're all over the place. And this is a particular project to teach people rapidly about affordable ecological housing. Uh, to make it affordable, to, our approach is basically we need to get the supply of uh, the supply the stock of affordable housing out there, uh, increase it, therefore uh, make it more affordable and ecological. Like for example, the the base model comes with five kilowatts of photovoltaics. So we're trying to push the limit on all the kinds of systems. We also have the aquaponic greenhouse that we've developed that we'd like to build as a part of the standard part of the package as well as things like landscaping, edible landscaping, to make it uh, quite integrated. And it requires integrated skill sets. And that's, that's what, why we're reaching out, uh, because we think that augmented reality or virtual reality materials can really accelerate the process. It's a big <coughs> learning curve mm -hmm. for all the steps. And we're teaching not just one trade, we're pretty much teaching integrated builders. It's, it's, it's kind of a very well-rounded program. You don't just go to tech school to learn a single skill. You learn everything, and then you also have advanced uh, tracks. You can continue on to the design track or enterprise track. So uh, it's a it's a package kind of reflected in an ecological approach, like like you've seen in a, in a TED talk with an early that was already a decade ago. But we're moving to a real product that can be sold in the marketplace and training people in the form of an apprenticeship. So the question would be. Uh, how can we collaborate with UMKC? And uh, I know I visited the uh, Free Enterprise Research Center. Uh, I know there's facilities there for AR, VR. I'm not sure what facilities you have or where you operate out of, but um, how can we make this happen? I do understand that this is, I mean, this is about getting the, to the very details. Like, like you mentioned, it's not going to be easy. It's a, because each, yeah, yeah. You know, each part of the build, it's a very intricate procedure, and we have to be able to capture that in a virtual environment so uh, i know that would we we have a highly detailed cad file i mean it's not it's it's quite complete it's not it doesn't have uh ld 500 it doesn't have every single part and every single fastener but actually we do want to get to the co absolute complete file including the fastener so you can actually in, in ar or vr we could also include those little details like that not just how you build it and you know, some random fasteners, you know, it's like every single part is accounted for. So it's a really uh, rigorous training for the people. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, I think, I, I look at your know, overall uh, think design. I think in the long run, overall, uh, it's doable. But you, you also know because the UMKC is a university, right? Mm -hmm. So when we work on the project, mainly uh, we involve students. Students are not like the outside uh, people, full-time employee, right? They can fully devote to work on any project, right? Because they also have a class work. Mm -hmm. So so I think that's the concern the university has. But we are not like a company. So right because you hire the people then <coughs> then you do all the work. Mm -hmm. So so that's the reason I want to discuss with you because the university set up that if we work with you then certainly need to involve students. Right? Then students as I say they have their their time limit, the concern. So, so it also depends on how, like, whether you, you, you need to deliver, right, in a very quick turnaround time, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because AR, VR, in order to build a very realistic environment, it takes time. Yes. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Regarding schedules, the, the grant that we're applying for is a, like a two or three year grant. So I'm looking at it, it this wouldn't definitely not be like quick turnaround times. It's like over the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Over time, we incorporate the, the the virtual materials as we generate them. But I do understand that yeah. would be, we won't depend on that initially. I mean, initially, we'll teach people uh, in the most effective way we can, but over time. So, so we wouldn't have the time pressure. I think that's, you know, two or three years. Um, mm -hmm. or <coughs> how about, the, 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 uh, another way, the, how about, let me show you a demo. The demo, the, the work we did before. Sorry, the, what's the question? 
So how how about, <coughs> how about now I give you a demo demonstration the work we did. Yeah. Okay. Please. So let, let me let me uh, sure. okay share the screen with you. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you can see my screen, right? So. Yep. When okay. testing out the okay. proposed Here's the Nokia ILE system, we really wanted to create different test scenes showing different ILE use cases for it. Now in this first scene, we focus on an ILE for robotics training where users can pick and place objects within a virtual environment. Now the different displayed contents such as the images, video, and 3D models and textures can all be updated at runtime by a human or an AI system. Now for this implementation, we have an AI system directly integrated into the learning process, which is used to asynchronously assess users after ensuring that they met the objectives of the task at hand using a previously proposed confidence estimation system. Now in this next scene, we work on a task that involves labeling the different components of, on NASA's ACRIMSAT, which is part of NASA's Earth Observing, Earth Observing System program. The proposed system can also correct, collect a variety of multimodal data, which can be directly fed into an AI system for inference, either for research or application, including controller and head pose, hand pose, as well as collecting data from external devices as well. Now, by modeling the learning process as a hypergraph rather than a list, we can model the complex relationships between different scenes and try to account for different learning styles. Now, in this final scene, we're showing an example of using this system to create a scene for building alkane molecules in a chemistry classroom. Now, content adaptation is also imperative for the system as making sure that we can update this content um, in, a, in a way that is not malformed and outside of the user's view, we can create an ILE experience that is nearly seamless. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is just one of the demo. Okay, so uh, I don't know whether this kind of align with what you in mind. Yes, so so the mole molecular assembly, what you showed there, that's what we do. So so um, what we have is, uh, let me see, maybe, um, maybe I can show you... Um, Uh, yeah, I think I need to let you um, share the screen. Let me see. Oh, oh okay. Uh, okay, let me let me sh let you share, share. Okay, now you can share the screen. Okay. <coughs> uh, let me see what the best place to show you. Uh, well, so the kind of work that we assemble. Um, Yeah, okay, so let me, let me share my screen then. Okay, so the house, okay, the house looks like this, and this is demo here. Um, but what's unique about it is that this house is made of pretty much all four by nine wall modules that look like this. So it's basically two by six lumber, very simple stuff. Um, so each module is like the standard wall module, uh, just simple diagrams here. That's how they look for just a plain old wall module with sheathing on one side, let's say. Um, but, and then they pretty much all come together one after another with a big team of people. So here we have, for example, just, you know, cheat sheets of how you build these things. And there's more complicated modules, like for example, mm -hmm. um, naturally there would be things like doors and windows. So, so this, for example, this module here, it's also four by nine, but it already mm -hmm. has the aperture for the door and stuff like that. Uh, and it might have some other elements, like for example, we have a piece of PVC on it, actually some electrical parts or plumbing parts on it. Um, but, and then there's other, like this is more like this is one by one. You put, for example, the whole floor on the second floor up one by one. But but each of these, um, and there's, for example, like if you do plumbing assemblies, like, okay, you, you put these things, screw them together, etc. cetera. Um, so that, for example, imagine a student being out there. Uh, say they're practicing this. They're taking the actual component, the piece of pipe here, the toilet, the, the actual drain system and putting together the pieces one after another in a sequential order and we have all this kind of stuff like pretty much broken down and, and I mean we've got a lot a lot of documentation we have hundreds of pages of documentations and how mm -hmm. all this goes together but it's, it's like this it's a 
uh, if you think of four by think of four by nine modules, how they all go together, including set certain other electrical or plumbing components or other utility components within them. Now, um, what you showed about the molecular assembly, I mean, that is exactly this. It's like you put one, one piece of lumber after another. Now, the only difference is that you might actually have a sequence of one step after another. Yeah. You know, like, for example, you're building a window. You, there's a very particular order that you need to follow. Um, yeah, this can be arranged. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's, it's going to get into because the entire house, I mean, this, you know, like details of how you just, just about everything here is in CAD. Like, for example, if I show you, like, how extensive the, so this mm -hmm. is the actual as built. But if you look at mm -hmm. the CAD, you'll notice that we have extensive, extensive um, yeah. files for each, you know, the master files. We've got files mm -hmm. for each up to the PV and interior and plumbing and uh, water, um, cabinets, everything there all together. A lot, of, a lot of the details. So we have a lot of that info. And of course, we have to upgrade it. So maybe, uh, let me... Um, so so how how did you create create all those components? Use AutoCAD to create those or Yeah, we're using FreeCAD. We use all open source software. So FreeCAD okay. is fully capable of doing that. There's assembly workflows, there's there's finite element analysis. If you know how to do it, you can extract the, the dimensional drawings out of that. So we use that as our universal platform between actually that and another open source software called Sweet Home. Uh, like those renderings, those were done in Sweet Home. It's an easy piece of software to learn. But assuming we have all the digital files, then it tur turns out to we have to generate the, the build procedures. I mean, I think what could be realistic is you've got, un un I mean, there's two routes. One is that you've got augmented reality where, like, say you're, you're put in in front of you are put a bunch of the components, say for a complex assembly, and then you're guided, okay, put the the augmented reality identifies parts and helps you, okay, now put this part next to this so you can get training like that. The other route yes. is 100% virtual, where you have a bill of materials and you have a hand, you know, whatever, manipulator, so you can mm -hmm. put things in order one after another completely in a virtual environment. And if we could- Yeah, this also can be done, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so if we could do that for, okay, say here's the one of the wall modules with a lot of different components in there and things in very particular places. If we could have people assisted like that, then the, the ultimate vision would be literally take a person off the street, a person who can use a, you know, a screwdriver and a hammer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and they can do that all without prior preparation. Or, or for our, mm -hmm. our business, making the learning curve Pretty much after just basic orientation, you can get the people out there to the real work site and actually start building real stuff. Um, yeah, I think that then if if that case, the virtual reality should be good enough, right? As you said, you use the hand or screwdriver, right? Step by step, to teach people how to assemble the the thing together. I think this can be can be done. Okay, so the question is, for applying for this grant, um, can we, uh, you know? Do you have the resources to actually execute on this? Do you have, do you have people that we can hire uh, through this grant from your team, or how do you see this? How could this be actually realized? Okay, so norm <coughs> excuse me. Normally, university involved. Certainly, normally we go through the either the grant or contract. Okay, I don't know whether you're familiar with the, like a, like a university faculty work on the outside project, like a company give us a project. Mm -hmm. Then the university. University will take so called indirect cost out. That means you use the university electricity space. So now the UMKC indirect cost rate is 56.5%. So that means if you take like $100,000, they will uh, take the 50.6,000 out of your, 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 your grant, more like an indirect cost. Then the faculty use the rest of the money to hire people. That's one way. Another way you you kind of directly kind of identify our student directly hire them. Mm -hmm. That's another way. Mm -hmm. But certain university like to bring in the project and charge the indirect cost, so university can get something. So mm -hmm. so there are different way to do that. So that's the reason because I think your work is really really important to the world. So I really admire you mm -hmm. to spend effort. 
So I really want your your work become a very success. The, the another way I add it, if you receive uh, get the funding, why don't you just hire people from outside full time or you know they have time to directly fully work on your project. You say not university, university but other other than the university or. Yeah, to for example, the hire people from outside so they can fully work on your your project. Mm -hmm. Because university, if we, if we get a project, normally we will hire students to do that. And mm -hmm. the student may have their consent because of the class is homework assignment. Right, right. Yeah, so so that because I really want you to be success. So so that's the reason. Normally, mm -hmm. you only may say, okay, welcome to to give us a project, we will do it. But I prefer giving you the maybe the more option so you can consider. Yeah, I mean, so are there good groups in Kansas City or where would these people be? This, I mean, it's basically who can actually do the work, who can we pay? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think if you have the money, so there are different channels, right? You can advertise, right? Like indie, all those kind of the, the, the places for you to post. You, you need some expertise like that. Also nowadays, for your project, in fact, not necessarily they must be in the Kansas City, mm -hmm. right? If you have project, in fact, in fact, nationwide, you can find people, and they not necessarily for them to be in Kansas City to work on your project. They can right. do this remotely. Yeah, obviously, if we can, I think the question is who who would be qualified to do this. I think there are a lot of people. I think there are a lot of people can do that. Certainly, uh, in the past, I, I I was able to recruit a very good student, so. Now I just moved to the UMKC. Uh, I don't know whether you know that I, I moved from Miami to Kansas City mm -hmm. on July first. So okay. all my previous students they all kind of graduate also because of my sensation. Mm -hmm. But I was able to recruit the top student to work on the project. But however, I believe there are enough talent in the country can do this work because I I I really hope that your project can finish it and impact to the whole whole country whole world. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, so, um, so that's the reason I, I, I kind of very honest. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, what is the thrust, the main points of your research and development work that you do? I mean, is this, are you actually developing some of these? I mean, you are developing some of these techniques. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, the, the, I, I started to do this. Uh, I, can, I can show you my another table yeah. continue. Mm -hmm. the, because I was in Miami, right? Yeah. Miami, we have a hurricane. Yeah. So the government, every time hurricane come, the government just show the 2D map. So, okay, hurricane coming like this. But for the resident, it's very difficult for them to perceive how dangerous it is for this incoming storm, right? Mm -hmm. So then I begin to develop a so-called visualization to let the people understand. Okay, then I can I can show you the the demo right now. Okay. Okay. The continue the demo. <clears throat> when testing out the okay. So, Go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the This is visualization based on like real terrain? Yes. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, so, <clears throat> so this is an example. I started from this wall, mm -hmm. right? This is each. So the part of the road, the building are in the geo coded exactly location. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we show people this, that people can easily understand okay, yeah. how dangerous. So the way I started from from this, mm -hmm. then so begin to then let them work on the the do, doing the AR VR for the for the training. Mm -hmm. For example, we use that we have a so called ICAV facility for I was in Miami. So we train more than three hundred uh, firefighter mm -hmm. to how to respond because firefighters in their normal training they just use a binder right follow the SOP that's it. But we use the virtual reality to show them how to respond as a team. <coughs> mm -hmm. Then firefighters said it, it, it was very, very effective. Mm -hmm. We trained more than 300 firefighters uh, in Miami. 
was it like a group like in in a yes or I mean, it was number of people yes what you have right you have a command that like, people come from different you know, places then they coordinate together mm -hmm. we use a virtual environment to to train them mm -hmm. yeah yeah i mean the idea there would be to train people on an entire house build by taking a team yes. of people and actually work as a team to how to coordinate them. exactly like, like uh, a firefighter right you go, exactly. firefighters when the e event happen they all come from different different places right yeah but if we don't coordinate it then it's a mess so yeah. so that's the feeling about yeah. yeah similar to when you build a house you have a different builder right yeah. how to coordinate together yeah 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 as team workflow right so so you would suggest um that we can you refer some good people that we can potentially work with no uh, because uh, the good people that i would normally they, they are my previous student they all find a very good job so now i but don't have, have the projects, specific right? yeah i don't have a specific because they all have a full-time job right but now for example the, the student developed the demo that i just show you the the that the how to use robot he's working at the blue origin blue origin is you know picture based of the create the company for the space yeah in seattle now he's yeah. working there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah 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 um, so, but why? Why means that eventually, I think this is my job here. We will begin to produce train more good students at the UMKC. Yeah. Is there eventually, they will become very capable. Yeah. Then we provide the workforce then to help different projects. Yeah. Right. So, is there any turnkey software right now that we can use that's use Unity. Yeah. We are. Yeah. Now everybody uses Unity. It's a freeware. Unity, U N I T Y, Unity. Um, so with Unity, can you, for example, um, immediately like the functionality of taking a bill of materials and being able to manipulate that and build parts? I think so. It? Yeah, yeah. So then you need to write code. Mm -hmm. You need to write write code. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it, yeah, can be done. The, the example that I show you, right, the, the, is a similar. Right, you, you you have a different component. You you can assemble them together. Show show them step by step. Yes. Uh, the the demo with the hurricane or typhoon whatever was that done with Unity or what what engine was, was the yeah right original it was uh, uh, done by using C C plus then they said we convert it to Unity mm -hmm. because Unity is much <coughs> much easier <coughs> for example use the C plus to animate the water it, it's not easy but Unity already built in those kind of functionality for you yeah so what do you and that works in C sharp. Yeah, Unity. You default in programming language is C sharp. Yes. Yeah. But but you can use the Python to train the machine learning model. Then eventually plug in to mm -hmm. to the to the Unity. That's what we did. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we talk about producing for the purpose of the grant, uh, how would you handle that? We we want to produce these instructionals module by module we can say there's like a hundred modules for the house uh what kind of budget are we looking at do you think like you know each module that takes perhaps like one hour like in physical time each module may take like if you're good it, you know it takes like half an hour between 15 actually between 15 minutes and two hours depending on how, how complicated it is um how much um uh, pay paid time would it take to develop you know, a model that where you assemble the entire house <laughs> module by module. Well, how to say because uh, because uh, yeah, I don't think. But if the the student begin to be familiar with everything, like uh, like my previous student, mm -hmm. yes, they, they can save time. But in order to build a more kind of realistic environment, it takes time. I also budget wise because also because the university will take at least half the money away. Mm -hmm. So I would say that each year, uh, probably need to have at least one hundred thousand. Uh, okay. for how many, so, I mean, how many full-time people, if, if we want to say to develop... No, we even cannot hire full-time. Uh, 100, you, you may be surprised uh, because of the overhead. Yeah. Uh, 100,000 per year, even you cannot hire a full-time. Uh, is a $100,000 budget realistic for some other company? Because university will hire? take half the money away, right? Yeah. If you, like say, 100,000, university take 56.5% away. Yeah. Then rest of the money not enough to even hire a full time so or, or higher student means a higher student like 20 hours per week yeah yeah 
Um, so that, I think that's a concern. So that's the reason I'm very kind of very honest at the beginning to uh, tell you, university environment we do have some overhead. But if you from outside you directly use the, this, let's say one hundred thousand to hire uh, one full time people, fully work on your project, uh, it is different. You think that would be more effective? I think so. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, um, university may not like my answer, but yeah, but I, yeah. I really want to help you make your project success. I think probably there will be the better role, in my yeah. opinion. I mean, and I'm, usually, I'm sure you can find the right talent because your work is very, very important to to the country. So yeah. even you maybe you can find some people they are wearing more like work on the project with a discount rate because they really like your vision. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but just to get an idea in order to program up like the, say a full assembly sequence, like based on your experience with say the molecules, like if you've got well-defined parts, a bill of materials, yeah. like the module, let's say it contains 20, to 50 different parts, let's say. How long does it take, do you think, to, to produce one module that guides you through that process? Like one one module, four by nine feet, it's got say 25 parts. Uh, how much programming time is required? Is it more about developing the system to handle any bill of materials? Yeah, first you need, yeah, you need to develop the system, this kind of virtual reality environment first. Yeah. When you have that, then sure, then you can use the, your existing component, begin to assemble it then with a sequence, then then come out the good like video or whatever to teach people. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the beginning, at the beginning to develop an environment, the platform take time. How because much time would you estimate yes. to develop the platform for assembly of Structural the people, I, I will say, uh, I, I will say that probably the six months, again, I'm talking about the really good people. Six months that you'll be able to build the, the, the something and the first component will, will be ready. Mm -hmm. Six months with two people, two person team? Or one person? Yeah, yeah one, uh, one person, uh, if the one person uh, depends on your budget, right? Mm -hmm. One person, uh, how much money you pay. If really good people, I believe six months you should oh. be able to produce uh, at least one complete module to mm -hmm. teach people. One concrete module. Again, good people. There are, there are a lot of programmers out there. They say they are good, but they are not good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But once we so have I'm, the I'm one talking module. about the so-called top, top people. Yeah. Yeah. Once we have the one module, how much time do you mm -hmm. think the subsequent ones that are similar? Then things will become easier. Much easier, yeah. right? Like that means your, your, your programming environment already kind of in place in place then things can can speed up do you think that we can generate each module on the order of like 40 hours so say uh, there's a hundred no, modules no, sure, first, uh, first you need to express be able to understand the whole sequence also sometimes take time right then you you explain to the programmer the programmer then begin to assemble the all the component sequence by sequence it, it takes time I won't. I don't think that like forty hours you can produce another like big module. No, uh, it, it, I think it takes time. Uh, how much would you estimate for a module with say twenty five parts? Twenty five part only. Yeah. If we already have a parts. system, I think one one week probably is 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 possible. Mm -hmm. And does that time scale pretty much with complexity? So it's, if if it's fifty parts, it will be two weeks, or. Probably, yeah. Probably. It all depends. Again, if the programmer or the people operate uh, become much more familiar with, then things can, can speed up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the IT world, right, the good people, average people, make a huge difference here. So, why I just describe the timeline, if you can again find the right people, maybe you can shorten the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, you would say like six months of initial setup time to, to yeah. the first module? And nominally, we can say for 25 parts around a week, week time. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that process so. should be scalable, modular in complexity. So if it's 50, yes. 75, yeah. 100, it takes accordingly. Yeah, again, for, 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 for your team begin to be familiar with the whole process, the, the, you, can, you can speed up. Okay. So that would be, for example, for the assembly where you have gloves that you wear that, that sense yes, the position. Yes, 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 yes. What's the hardware required? So I guess with the headset and the gloves, that the sensing of the positions. How much is that? I think they, they probably they, they, they should be enough. They, they, they should be enough. Then you you have a, you got, yeah because you already have a headset. Then right. 
like you all depends whether you, you want to have a TV screen, right? It all, uh -huh. Sometimes you show people. I like, think the the hardware investment will not be that big. Not that big. So per, I mean, say we're actually training a number of people on this. I mean, would it be like what five hundred or a thousand dollars per set or? Yeah, the, the, you can you can look at the market. The upwards, I think now is very popular. But people use this for the for the game game play game. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. Yeah, just just look at the market price, then you can get some idea. Okay. How much? So yeah, the headset, just headset, or people use a Hololens two, by like from Microsoft. Yeah. Uh, or the Facebook, then Oculus. So yeah, Oculus. I think a lot of people use Oculus right now. Yeah. So th we were describing the the virtual reality. Now, what about for augmented reality systems where it's about part? Augmented reality that means that means that you can like you you begin to have a, a real real devices right. You yeah, can so you have add to... some information, like use that, like, to, you know, okay, you put this clue, the put into here, then turn, no, no, you, you can do things like that, more detail. Okay, now to set up a platform like that, using existing state of art, how long would it take? Like, for example, we've got 25 parts to assemble this uh, plumbing assembly, say 25 parts, and it, and it recognizes the, t the parts for you, and it h guides you by augmented information uh, how long uh, those, like you will add the augmented relation because those kind of things are uh, kind of quite tedious now because now okay. nowadays there's no automated way for you to bypass that okay so to to, to add the augmented reality it takes time okay so once again uh, how much time would we would we be expecting the, the, the 25 part uh, this i uh, probably will take much longer so i will probably say will give it like a what uh, Two weeks probably also very tight. Uh, I would say one month. Again, depends on how familiar with. When the the team becomes more familiar with, then things can speed up. Okay. Now, does that also? Are you assuming another like six month to a year like learning curve to get to that software or that? Yeah, software? yeah, because uh, yeah. So, but you can do post simultaneously. Then we build a VR environment and AI environment simultaneously. Yes. 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 Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. would about six months be? Uh, enough for the no, say that six months for to build up the VR AR environment. Let's put it this way. That's like you you divide the VR AR environment simultaneously. Simultaneously. Yeah. So that's say the six, six months. months. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Find okay. the right people. Yeah. Yeah. Find the right people. But you have, of course, you'd have to find the right people, which is probably the tricky yeah. part. Um, and then okay. Because so now the because IT part you probably also know because now the the theory go up very fast. Yeah, so. and and as far as generating, you know, one module of twenty five parts, would that be like comparable to the to the VR, or you you say it's actually a little no, no, more AI more takes more time because AI you need to add more detail information. Yeah, you right. So, so it, it takes more time. More time? Would you say like double the time or? Yeah, probably you can say probably the double the time because it's quite tedious. You need to do this manually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, is anyone developing the automated platforms to achieve this? Uh, no, 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 no. We uh, this is part of my research. We try to do this automatically. So this is a part of our research agenda. I see. That's not there. Not yet. yet. For example, a lot of people use the VIR to teach people, right? You have different material now. Create the content is very, very time consuming now yes. for VIR. Right, right, right. Um, so regarding um, potential people to do this, uh, you said. Um, that's the hard part. Do you have any suggestions on that? Does Jesse know the people? No, no. I think uh, you also have the, the. I'm sure the the whole country, even the California, the, uh, the there are a lot of uh, talented people can do that. Okay, okay, but you don't have any specific ones in, that you can recommend. Uh, right now. No, because my private, my former students, they are good, but they mm -hmm. have full time job. I don't think that they will take it. Uh, yeah, right. But otherwise, uh, if they are here, then I will tell you, uh, you can uh, uh, give the project to to, to me, and okay. we can deliver. Right. But now, because I'm in a, in a transition, so I don't want to delay your project because this is a very important project. Right. Um, really good idea. Right? We always thought open source for software. Right? You, now you, you want to have open source for hardware. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Um, now, if we were, were to work with you, and but there's the delay, I mean, what is the time frame that you could actually work on? That if, if we were to work Normally, I like to do things uh, very quickly. I don't like to wait. but. I I'm new here, so I I I need to identify the team now. Also, at the same time, uh, I I try to convince here 
to elevate the standard. So then you can you can train the, the much better student much more capable mm -hmm. to do things. Okay. So you know, if we have enough uh, capability, then yeah. certainly I will tell you, uh, uh, we, we can help you. You don't need to go out to find other people. Yeah. So, but you're saying that's n now is not the right time. No, not, yeah, because now, because I, I don't want to delay you, because yeah. I, I try to build up my team. Right. I hire a lot of students, but so far, uh, they do not impress me. I mean, those master students, they do not impress me. Mm -hmm. So, because right. again, the IT, good or average, huge difference. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I understand the part about the right person, by all means, because some person, I mean, it's like 10x difference between different people. Um, definitely keep this in mind for the future like as you set this up you know come back to to us because we're going to yeah, be sure, doing yeah, this yeah. for everything that we do so we're going to need that yeah. and i think again because the, your your work really impact yeah. to the whole world i really yeah. admire you yeah i, yeah. I don't know how yeah right. i saw your video uh, you come out of this idea very 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 cool yeah 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 exactly and and just uh, maybe to wrap up here so so in terms of the budget uh if we're to, to find the right person we're talking full-time for a good person, is 100K enough? Not enough. How much? How much do we need? And it is, uh, uh, I will say, the 150,000 per year. Okay. Yes, per year. For the kind of person. So I think in need... California, I think this is uh, quite common. In order to find the uh, reasonable two people. Mm -hmm. So we should, if we, if we look for two people to work on it full time for at least a year, we should put in 150K times two as the base. Yeah. After they do the initial work, can lower paid people do the afterwards, like after they Probably, set it up? yeah. So they, uh, depend if the, they, they do a good job, so the platform kind of easy to maintain, sure. Yeah. Then it, you basically you use the same platform, right? Mm -hmm. You just spend the time to create the environment, add the the augmented information, right? Those yeah. kind of things that you, you can use lower down the pay, yeah. Would that skill set be like basic Python or I mean experienced Python programming or? We'll yeah, and, and more like a, a familiar with the Unity. If you, Unity. you decide to use Unity, that's my recommendation. Use the Unity. Mm -hmm. Not at the beginning, it's open source, uh, it's a free way. So use Unity. Use Unity. Uh, Don't, for example, use um, Godot or something. No, I would suggest to use Unity. Yeah. Then you can find more people because more people are familiar with the Unity. Yeah. Because Unity yeah. now becomes very popular. Right. And then after the baseline is, um, the base work is done in Unity, what is the pay scale for the person that can take it from once we've got the basic platform? No, you just the routine, create a different uh, unit, uh, module, then, uh, yeah, you, you can scale it down. And hire some me mediocre programmer uh, familiar with the Unity. Okay. Just to maintain the environment and uh, then create those kind of different modules. Uh huh. Now, what's the budget for that? Is that like seventy-five a year or hundred? Yeah, I think yeah. Depends on location, by the way. Depends on location. Depends on location. Yeah, seventy-five uh, in Kansas City, uh, I think doable. Okay. And more. more but San Francisco, like then you, you cannot. You know, San Francisco, then much more expensive. Would it be close to one fifty or? Yeah, San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco. You know, Bay Area is very very expensive. Okay. Okay, yeah. That's why uh, IT company uh, are pay, uh, paying right, right now. Yeah. Uh, good people, they normally now now they pay around one one fifty is quite common. One fifty k is quite common. Yeah, yeah, one fifty is is about right. Um, in in Kansas City, is the rate still about one fifty, or would it be lower? No, no, lower. Yeah, Kansas City because the living cost is much lower. Mm -hmm. So in Kansas City, could we find somebody for about a hundred k per year to start the work? Possible. Possible. Yeah, possible. Yeah. Okay. But the tops, you're talking about 150 or so. Yeah. Because of, because of living cost. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you have a budget of more than 150, does that mean that you can actually find even better people or no? Like one. Yeah. 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 So that means you can shorten the time. Shorten the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I think for the proposal's sake, we probably should be looking at 150K. Yeah. For the moment, if I, I still have my team here, I probably can deliver less than six months. Probably the, if the student they the fully focus, then even probably three months is possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you're saying that you mean the student? Why I mean sometimes now it's just only undergraduate students. I'm even talking about the PhD student that when they finish all the post work, then all their time uh, are, are kind of doing research. You know what I mean? Then they they can be more focused uh, to work on projects. Okay. 
Um, you're saying we should not be considering that right now, or we can be considering that right now? You mean the, the high school the student? Yeah. No, probably not. I, I think um, I will say that because I really want you to have your your work ready as soon as possible. Then mm -hmm. probably not come to the university. Okay, okay. so uh, my my university may not like my answer, but yeah, but yeah. now I <laughs> yeah, but I really want you to be success. So right, and as far as the, go out. how how important is it to have the Free Enterprise Research Center available with its with its VR equipment? I mean, that's not the block, is it? So the facilities of UMKC are they? Like a real original. In fact, they they set up this more like a like like a, your case. Your the, the outside company or whoever want to do project or come come here. Uh huh. So then we work with the outside and work on the 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 projects. That's the original set up the uh, for their purpose. Uh huh. Um. But you're saying the limit to that is one is the is the overhead and two is they don't do they actually have the people to do it right now or not not really right or uh, from my stand up no right if they ask other people they may say yes mm -hmm. but again uh, as I said I think your project is really important and uh, yeah. certainly you want to finish your project the first yeah. one lady as soon as possible yeah as soon as possible okay so, so, so that's the reason I, that I said that my university may not like my answer but don't by the way don't kill them so, yeah so, so, so your answer is to find you but, but then point, I think uh, yeah, as you said uh, if, when we begin to build out those kind of things mm -hmm. then probably we can find a way to do this uh, under the budget limitation yeah okay uh, under the budget limitation, uh, what do you mean by that? That means that if you have in, enough good talent, so they can finish the work in a shorter time, mm -hmm. right? Instead of spend one year, budget one year, then they can do the good work with a much shorter time. Then you save money. Right, but yeah. still the, the same rules though, same overhead rules. Yeah, same rules right? apply, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, all right. And then you get the spatial deal. Normally, this is not the case. You follow the university rule, uh, 56.5%. Um, mm -hmm. You can think of, think of this more like a tax. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> university tax. <laughs> All right. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, thank you. I think that. Uh, but I believe, uh, I don't know how long it will take, but I believe my center will have a capability to do that. The, the like a demo I, I show you. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how much time do you think uh, it, it will take you to develop the capacity? You mean for your work? Oh, yeah. I mean how, for the capacity? Yeah. I, like I, I hope, my, my answer is I, I hope as soon as possible. Yeah, I hope as soon as possible. Uh, that's, uh, can you be a little more specific? Is that like six months or a year or two years? No, no, no I, uh, six, uh, I hope to, to, to be ready in three months, I hope. Within yeah. three months or so, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, because like, I, 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 I have several projects I'm going right now. Yeah, yeah I also need yeah. to have the team. Yeah, yeah, let's keep in touch because for future work, as soon as you're ready, I mean, we probably definitely would want to uh, try to work with you. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Oh, by the way, are you in Missouri or in? Yes, yes, I'm in an hour north of Kansas City. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Uh, well, Dr. Chen, thank you for your time. And I think, yeah, let's be in touch and we'll follow up on some finding some unity people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you Bye. Much. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.